Welcome back to Daybreak. It's 10 past eight. Now then, overweight mums cause overweight children, leading to serious health problems later in life. That's the stark warning today from the British Nutrition Foundation. How bad is the situation though? Well, almost half of all women of childbearing age are overweight. The problem is made worse because half of all pregnancies in the UK are unplanned. And if a mum-to-be has a poor diet, the unborn baby can develop serious conditions like asthma, allergies and heart disease. Well, we're joined now by Amber Marshall, who was classified as obese during both of her pregnancies. She's here with Silas. Uh, he's already taken all the bracelets from Lorraine, bless his heart. <laughs> he's uh, also with us is broadcaster <laughs> and uh, mother of three, Liz Fraser. Good to see you all. Hi. What a well behaved baby he really is. Um, what's your reaction to this? Um, I think it's not new research for start. There's been similar things, um, you know, through the years. And it's, it's all well and good. If people need extra advice, people need extra advice about smoking, about alcohol, about exercise, about all the sorts of things you should and shouldn't eat during pregnancy. So that's, it's useful, as long as it's delivered in the right way. We don't want to scare mums off. We don't want people to feel they're being lectured and for them to then withdraw from services altogether. It needs to be handled sensitive. Did you feel that when you were, when you were pregnant, you thought to yourself, actually, I'm not giving my baby the best possible start because I'm, I'm overweight to begin with? Um, I, that certainly was the impression given to me by doctors. When I went to uh, d different appointments, I was made to feel like I was undoubtedly going to get gestational diabetes because, you know, I was told, oh, I've got three times the risk of a normal weight woman. Actually, the risk is 9.5% for somebody of my obesity, 2.4% for somebody of normal weight, granted, but 9.5% is still not vast. So it's about how these inf this information is delivered. If you make women feel terrified that they are, you know, damaging their child mm. at a point when their hormones are riding high and there's not a lot they can do they're already pregnant um you know there's not they shouldn't well you dieting. can change i suppose straight the minute you find out that you're pregnant because yeah, they are saying now there's a link between your children's increased eating habits later on in life with mm. the, the program that they're given in the womb right. they do say that of course that's a snapshot in time based on you know pregnancy yes yeah. you know you do need to look at what you're eating but of course it doesn't stop at the time you give birth mm. that's you know you need to be looking at so meal times you need to be looking at breastfeeding you need to be mm. looking at all those things that are preventative for obesity so Liz, what do you think what should mums be doing i mean what do, how can we change this how can we make it better for the future generation well i take on board what you say about not wanting to terrify pregnant women nobody wants to do that and, and i think that what we need to take away from this is, is to welcome the fact that we're now addressing this issue and that we're no longer we're no longer frightened to say you are actually overweight you're overweight and this is this can cause problems not only during your pregnancy for yourself but also for your baby and also for your so baby's health later in life. I think this is a really direct. big problem that we have generally in our culture that it, it, it's people are very sensitive about it I understand why but we don't like to say to people you are overweight because people take that very oh you know you're criticizing me well actually I'm not criticizing you I'm trying to help you and I'm trying to you know not me but the scientists who are mm -hmm. doing this um, and and so like smoking as you say like smoking in pregnancy like drinking a lot in pregnancy if you're overweight in pregnancy and actually during the, um, the, the clip that you just played, if midwives are saying that they can't monitor pregnant women easily if they're overweight, you can't do the proper um the ultra scans that the uh, ultrasound scans that they're doing because mm -hmm. there's just too much basically body mass between the yeah. instrument and the baby sure. this is things that we do have to take quite seriously so I, I i really think we have to shy away from this you know you're criticizing me it makes me feel bad and say no because by the way it's the same as being underweight it's exactly the same if if i were underweight it is, during pregnancy people are overweight so we're, we're not talking the same numbers and well with that's, respect, that's the point isn't it though that's a big problem if 50 percent of people are overweight and I with think, respect you're problem. saying we're not being criticized actually we're being it's not a new thing we're already being criticized when I did research on my website excuse me when I did research on my website there was before when he was being born mm -hmm. there was a woman in America in, in the UK who contacted a, a US website to say I've been to my 10 week scan uh, my 10 week appointment with my, my doctor um, my BMI is 35 which is a lot less than mine by the way um, my BMI is 35 they've absolutely terrified me I'm worried what I'm doing to my unborn child don't judge me but I'm considering having a termination in order to give my child a better start but that's, no, that's a shame to take it that way it's a real to. shame to take it that way and I, and I think nobody should become defensive about this at all you should see this as a, as a wider picture of all kinds of things that you can do in your life to Absolutely. become healthier which is better for your and child and this is it's a conversation we'll carry on yes. after the show I'm thank sure thank you yeah. both very yes. much indeed for coming in yeah. and for bringing your incredibly well-behaved <laughs> son yes thank you